Lisa Nicole Carson, a talented actress, was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. From a young age, it was evident that she had a passion for performing, and her journey in the entertainment industry would soon unfold. Carson's career gained momentum in the early 90s with appearances in popular TV shows and commercials. Her natural talent and charisma quickly caught the attention of audiences and industry professionals alike. Lisa Nicole Carson rose to prominence with her breakthrough roles in hit television series. One of her most memorable performances was as Carla Reese in the popular medical drama ER. Her portrayal of the complex character garnered critical acclaim and established her as a respected actress in the industry. Despite her success, Carson faced personal challenges that led to a hiatus from the entertainment industry. During this period, she navigated through mental health issues and worked towards her well-being. Her journey became an inspiration for many who appreciated her openness about mental health struggles. In the 90s, actress Lisa Nicole Carson took Hollywood by storm. However, almost as quickly as she rose to fame, she suddenly disappeared. Everyone wondered where Lisa Nicole Carson had gone. In a 2015 Essence exclusive, Carson said about her career, I was the belle of the ball in the late 90s, with roles on Ally McBeal in ER and in Love Jones. I've always been full of energy. She said that her energy was so high up there that she would often be seen twirling around happily on sets. However, one of the medical drama producers in which Carson was starring thought her high energy had a much deeper meaning. The producer had a family history of bipolar disorder, and he thought that the young actress was exhibiting similar symptoms of the illness. Carson had no idea what he was talking about and carried on with her life as she did not know how this strange illness could possibly affect her life. One year later, she got to find out in the harshest way. Carson was in NYC catching up with her family and just having a good time when out of nowhere, the unexpected happened. She had a fit in the hotel and started yelling and throwing things around uncontrollably. She raised enough hell that the hotel staff had to call an ambulance to whisk the actress away. Carson ended up being hospitalized for a couple of weeks, during which a psychiatrist gave an all-too-familiar diagnosis, bipolar disorder. It was the most terrifying episode, and from then on, she knew she could no longer live like that. Carson was torn apart. She did not want to believe that she truly had this mental disorder that everyone was so sure she had. She refused to take her medication, too. It was a tough, lonely road. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey, she admitted that she hit rock bottom several times and struggled to find her way back to the surface. The actress thought about her happy-go-lucky behavior and how happy she always seemed to be. She wondered how she would tell her real self apart from her untrue self when the disorder kicked in. She regretted not seeing a therapist before the breakdown, thinking that perhaps they could have detected her disorder earlier. Nobody close to her had even the slightest clue that something was off. During her hospitalization, Carson spoke to a therapist and was given medication to stabilize her moods. After she was discharged, she went back to work, staring as the lovable, playful lawyer Renee Roddick on Ally McBeal. When she returned, the cast and crew were caring and welcoming, and work continued as usual. Except when the time came for her contract to be renewed, it was not. No one said why, but Carson had an idea. Why? She was devastated. Her episode at the hotel made it to the press, and as expected, they tore her to shreds, labeling her as psycho. Eventually, the actress moved back to her hometown of New York City and lived there quietly for a decade. She told people that her life since then had been a very complicated journey. She admitted that she did not even know if she was going to make it out. Carson suffered more mania than depression, and it was her last breakdown in 2004 that became the straw that broke the camel's back. It was the most terrifying episode. And from then on, she knew she could no longer live like that. Carson worked closely with doctors for years, taking her medication, getting help, and fighting to take control of her life. The fight was long and unsure, but eventually, she won. By 2015, she had not had a single breakdown in 10 years and was ready to make her return to Hollywood. After sharing her story, she hoped that she would be able to help others. Carson knew how risky it was for her to open up about her illness, as she never even wanted to breathe a word of it to anyone. However, she had a change of heart and knew how important it was to speak up. A full-figured, multi-talented Black singer-actress, Lisa Nicole Carson, first impressed TV viewers in the recurring role of Carla, the restaurateur who was the sometime girlfriend of Eric LaSalle's Dr. Peter Benton. On the hit NBC series ER, 
she found even more fame as Renee, the sassy district attorney roommate of Callista Flockhart's defense counsel in the hit Fox series Allie McBeal, a role she played regularly from 1997 to 2001. Born and raised in NYC, Carson honed her craft in several theatrical productions. Originally billed as Lisa Carson, she began using her full name professionally in 1995. She was a regular on the syndicated The Apollo Comedy Hour before making inroads on the big screen in Let's Get Busy, 1993, and Jason's Lyric, 1994. Before finding small screen stardom, she played the doomed singer who caught the attention of Denzel Washington's private eye in the underrated Devil in a Blue Dress, 1995, and made impressions as Nia Long's friend in Love Jones and A Conquest of Ladies' Man, Samuel L. Jackson in Eve's Bayou, both 1997. Lisa Nicole Carson made a triumphant return to acting, demonstrating resilience and determination. Her comeback showcased her versatility as an actress, and she continued to take on roles that challenged societal norms and reflected the diversity of human experiences. Lisa Nicole Carson's legacy extends beyond her roles on screen, her journey, marked by both success and challenges, serves as a testament to the strength of the human spirit. Through her work and advocacy, she continues to inspire and uplift others. As Lisa Nicole Carson continues to contribute to the world of entertainment and mental health advocacy, her story remains one of resilience, talent, and a commitment to making a positive impact. We look forward to witnessing more of her inspiring journey in the years to come. Thank you for joining us in exploring the life and career of Lisa Nicole Carson. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe for more content celebrating the achievements of remarkable individuals. Until next time, stay inspired.